what's up guys today we have huawei mid bed t3 7 inch not charging perfectly i mean by this when you put the charger on the charger lid goes on and goes out goes on and goes out that means there is something loss on the charging port and we are going to replace it these are a common issue this could happen because of dust or any liquid leaked into the charging port. Replacing it should solve the problem. There is no need to heat the LCD. You can just push the back frame with any plastic tools. We don't need to break the screen. So pay attention while you are pushing it out. Also, there is no screws. You just need to push all over the frame. I'm looking if there is any screws, but uh, there is no screws because I don't want to push and making something broke. There is also important thing is to remove the SIM card and the memory card. It's important to remove them before doing this. As you saw me before, I did remove them. There is two slot to remove them. There is another tip, you don't need to take out the screen immediately because the screen connected to flex cable to the board so you don't have too much space, you need just to take it a little to remove the screen. There is no space to take away the screen while the flex cable is connected to the board so you need to make it a little so you can remove it. Remove the yellow sticker, then remove the flex cable of the screen. The screen is out. Now we need to take down all the screws from the board. Remove charging board bracket. Now take out the screws from the board. Remove one screw from the battery bracket. Then unplug the battery. Now take out all the screws from the loudspeaker. Bring your soldering iron and remove the vibrator. Now we can remove the board. Put soldering flux paste, then get ready to remove the charging port. Bring the heat gun and soldering iron, it's easier to be used together to remove the charging port.
it took some time i don't know why Finally it removed, bring the new charging port and solder the pins and get ready to put it in place. Make sure the pins are perfect before putting the new one. Put the charging port in place and heat it for a few seconds. Once done, let it cool down for 5 minutes or you can use air blower. Then clean it with alcohol, after that we can get ready to assemble the device back and test. I hope you to take my advice is to test the charging port before full assemble but for me I know my work so I'm going to do the full assemble. Now you can reverse the operation. If you think there is something is not cleared well please write it down in the comments below. That was for today I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to support me by subscribe and like. We'll see you in the next video. See ya! Like, subscribe, enable the ring. Click subscribe in the circle. For any questions, write it below.